today we are going to do chapter 10, lesson 8, compare fractions. It says you can compare fractions when two fractions refer to the same size whole. So let's look at their examples to see what they mean. AJ has three sixths of his homework done. Yuki finishes four sixths of hers. Who has finished a greater part of their homework? Well, one way we can see is we can use fraction tiles. We can see that AJ has one, two, three, six, while Yuki has done one, two, three, four. So from this, we can see that four, six is greater than three, six. Another way we can do this is on a number line. Because these numbers have the same denominator, so the denominator is six, we can even put them on the same number line. We can see that four sixths is greater than three sixths. So Yuki finished a greater amount of her homework. Let's see the next example. Camille and Peter were reading a book. Camille read one fourth of the book while Peter read one third of the same book. Who read a greater part of the book? So because these have different denominators, four, and three were on two separate number lines. But we can see that as the larger denominator of four means more, but smaller parts. So one fourth is actually smaller than one third. So the smaller denominator of three means fewer, but larger parts. So because one third is closer to one whole, one third, is greater than one fourth or one third greater than one fourth. We can say that in words or symbols. So who read a greater part of the book? Peter did. So number one, use the models to compare. So which is bigger? One third or two thirds? We know it's two thirds because there are two third pieces. So we know two thirds is bigger than one third. On to the next example. So use the models to compare. So this time they've given us number lines. So here's our one fourth and our one sixth. Well, if we draw a line going down, one fourth is greater than one sixth. For number three. They want to know seven eighths and six eighths. Well, we could have even put these on the same number line because they both have the denominator of eight. But we know seven eighths is bigger than six eighths. Number four. One fourth plus one fourth is two fourths. And down here we have one, two, three, four eighths. Well, they end at the exact same place. So we're gonna say that they are equal. Number five, we've got one, two, three, four eighths over one, two, three, four six. If we go back to the example from the previous page where they showed us that even though eight is bigger, that means there are smaller parts. We know that four six is actually greater than four eight. So we're gonna use this number line. Circle all the fractions on the number line that are greater than 5 eighths. So we're gonna circle 5 eighths, 6 eighths is bigger, 7 eighths is bigger, and one is bigger. And let's change our color for number seven. So draw a box around all the fractions on the number line that are less than 3 eighths. Three eighths, two eighths, one eighth, and zero. Write a fraction from the number line that is greater than three eighths but less than five eighths. So, what number do we have left in the middle here? We have four eighths. On to the next page. So, explain to a friend. Alistair makes a party mix with one third cup raisins and two thirds cup cereal. Are there more raisins 
or serial? Well, we can draw this on our number line. If we have zero at this end and one at this end, one third, two thirds, we know one third cup raisins and two thirds cup cereal. Well, two thirds cup cereal is a lot bigger than one third cup raisins. So we can say one third is less than two thirds. Number 10, Debbie realized that more than four eighths of her summer vacation has passed. Circle the fraction that is greater than four eighths. Well, so we have four. Is four greater than two? Yep, so we can cross that off. Is four greater than three? Yep, but four is not greater than five. So five eighths is our answer. So number 11. Is one fourth of the smaller waffle equal to one fourth of the larger waffle? So if we go back to our first example, or that first definition they told us, where you can compare fractions when the two fractions refer to the same size whole, then no, they are not equal. Because this waffle is a whole lot smaller than this waffle. So they're not comparing the same thing. So we can't tell if one fourth is equal to one fourth of the other waffle. Number 12, if you are comparing the fractions four eighths and three eighths, how can you tell which fraction is greater without using models? Well, we have the same denominator. So we can kind of pretend like the denominators aren't there. Which is greater? four or three? Well, we know four is greater than three. So four eighths is greater than three eighths. And number 13, we don't have to write about this, but this is what we've been doing the whole lesson. How can fractions be compared? We can use number lines. We can use just counting three, four, five to see which ones are in order. And we can use our fraction blocks on to your homework. As always, you're gonna to have to do your homework on your own. Let's go through a couple examples. So we're gonna use the models to compare. So the same thing, you can draw a line and see which one's bigger. Well, one half is a whole lot bigger. So we're gonna say one half is greater than one third. Up here, you're going to use number lines and your fraction blocks. So pay attention. Are they greater than, less than, or some could be equal? And the same thing down here. So you've got this, and I will see you tomorrow.